everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. We're making almond croissants just like the ones at fancy French bakeries. These are so easy, inexpensive, and melt in your mouth delicious. We start with the syrup. In a small saucepan, combine one cup of water, one fourth cup of golden rum, and two tablespoons of sugar. Let that simmer for one minute, then take it off the heat and cool to room temperature. Now on to the almond cream filling. In a large bowl, combine one cup of almond meal, half a cup of sugar, and a generous pinch of salt. Mix that together just until combined. Add half a cup of softened, unsalted butter and stir just until blended. Finally, mix in two large room temperature eggs, adding them one at a time. Now turn up your mixer to high speed and beat until the whole mixture is fluffy, creamy, and has a frosting-like consistency. You'll need eight medium-large day-old croissants. I've had these sitting uncovered at room temperature overnight. With a serrated knife, slice these in half lengthwise like you would for a sandwich. Now that my syrup is at room temperature, I'm going to lightly dip both sides of the croissants in syrup. You want these to be moist, but not soaking wet. Spread about two tablespoons of the almond cream filling on the bottom half of each croissant. Place the top halves on and spread one tablespoon of the filling over each one. Finally, sprinkle with almond slices and these are ready for the oven. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit on the center rack for about 15 minutes or until the cream is golden. Okay, these are out of the oven. We're gonna transfer these to a rack and let them cool completely to room temperature before dusting them with tons of powdered sugar. Oh, this is really the best way to use croissants. And I love that my kitchen smells like a bakery right now. We wanna let these cool completely, but we have to do a taste test here. So <laughs> I'm gonna dust at least one of them with powdered sugar. All right, this one looks good. <laughs> and even with all that powdered sugar, it's still not as sweet as the ones you get in bakeries, which I love because it means I get to eat too. <laughs> Here we go. Mm. They're crisp around the edges, moist inside, and those shaved almonds give it so much great crunch and nutty flavor. These are amazing. Always a crowd pleaser. It's the kind of recipe that you make it once and you'll make it again and again. It is that good. I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I know you will. Give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. I think I need a cup of coffee to go with this, but before I go and before you go, <laughs> if you've got a sweet tooth, make sure to try some of our most popular pastry recipes right over there. <laughs>